Okay, so I came upon this here. First of all, we got the fire pit. I mean, with grass growing in it, it's not like anybody's having a fire in this thing. At maybe at some point they were though, who knows. I don't see any charred remains of any fire there though. Plus you got the little sticks hung up in there like the little Sasquatch peace sign for whatever reason. Um, and then this stuff here. You know, it looks like it could be washed out from the river when it gets really raging in the springtime. On, on the sides and on the bends and stuff, you get a bunch of debris built up, but I'm not really suspecting that in this case. Um, a lot of these sticks just look like they're similar length and they may have just been put in here. Stacked, there's some trash. There's a couple rocks on top of this plastic. So, I mean, right there, that tells you it wasn't, it wasn't random. The stream wouldn't have done that if it was pushing rocks and stuff up the rocks would be on the bottom so that's kind of a little constructed thing it looks like classic bark in the tree bark hang that we see sometimes so looking to me like maybe they were over here putzing around doing whatever they do there's a really cool set of bike jumps over here i mean like x games status there's a whole course this is a little ramp and this is the end of it but coming around the corner here i'll try to hustle up and show you some of these jumps they're pretty amazing saw a couple kids out here probably working on it for the first time or maybe they were just down here hanging out as I walk by, got a little string wrapped up in the tree there. It's just documentation because the Sasquatch along this creek system really like to tie string. I find that a lot. But right here. You got these amazing jumps. I've never seen anybody out here riding and using them before, but they get maintained and there's signs up. So somebody's taking care of this place, but pretty cool hangout. One time I came down here, I like to fish. I like to park here and walk the whole river all the way down to the reservoir. I came here and I came back looking for the sign recently. Somebody must've taken it down, but uh, there was a missing persons sign. I think it was on this tree here. And uh, it was for a guy, he was only like 21, 22 years old. And uh, said he went out one night, around 12, 31 in the morning and uh, never, never came back. So he just walked outside from a party or from a social engagement or something. So I don't know that the disappearance. I don't think it happened here. It happened in, on Green Mountain though, which is uh, just over here to the northeast. I can see Green Mountain poking up right there. That little piece of green is actually the top of Green Mountain and there's neighborhoods and such that go off and uh, meet up in between this reservoir and the, the mountain. There's a road that cuts through that I, I found that roadside structure on. So Okay guys, thanks for bearing with me. Talk to you later.